my bachelor's was in computer science and uh, it was mainly i mean you know we didn't had any like say uh, any specialization so it was you know everything you know all the subjects were taught and then after my bachelor's uh, i didn't really know you know what to do and you know in which field to go so i did another post graduate course from ctac pune so that was specialized in mobile application development so i did that in uh, like i started it in august 2013 once my bachelor's was over and it uh, lasted till that, i guess february 2014 then i did my first job in mumbai that was based in mumbai only so i was working as an ios developer so i worked there for a couple of months and then i like it, it was a small company so i thought let's uh, go to uh, mnc so my second company was infosys so i started working there i guess in the november of 2014 and i worked there till 2018 and meanwhile i was also planning to do my master because and in process the life was not i mean that great not that challenging actually so i started planning to do my masters in the year 2017 and and at that time i was not really sure i mean which country to look and you know where to go so i had in mind canada and australia at that time i didn't want to go to us because i really wanted to go to a country in which i can get you know better college you know according to my let's say i mean background so i did apply in canada and australia so in australia like uh, i started applying in i guess uh, december i got of 2017 and in canada like in september of 2017 but fortunately like you know the admits from australia was much better i mean in terms of the university ranking and all so i decided to go to the australia so i went to australia in july 2018 and then did my masters couple of safe universities and couple of mbc university uh, like in mbc i did apply in uh, university of toronto of university of waterloo but the cut off at, at that time in in i guess it was 18 was very high because i guess of the i mean i guess uh, trump was elected as the i mean president in us so you know more students were applying to canada and australia so that's why the cut off went uh, you know above, above what i had scored in my bachelor's So I was not able to get any admit from there. I did get admit from couple of universities, but they, they, their ranking was, you know, pretty low as compared to what I got from Europe, from Australia. So I, then I decided to go to Australia. At my time, I mean, the at a total fees was seventy six thousand dollars, and uh, I mean the thing with uh, thing <clears throat> with my university is the fees increases every year. So I mean, every year it increases by I guess five or six percent. So I mean, if I told tell you about the I mean yearly fees, yearly or semester wise fees. So in in first semester it was around eighteen thousand dollars, and at the end of the semester it came to around I guess nineteen nineteen thousand dollars because of I mean it was increased two times. There are two things I mean in which I mean the person can I mean you know pay back their loan. Firstly, I mean, you get uh, I guess a couple of months summer vacation. So if you if you do part time or if, if you get in an intensive, then you can pay one time so for so fees. You can I mean easily accommodate uh, I mean that much amount so that you can pay the next semester fees or the uh, previous semester fees. And apart from that, if you are doing a job and you know if you get uh, you know a basic salary also, then you can also you know pay back in one year. So I guess max you can, if you are taking fifty percent loan, then max you can, you will take around one year to pay back. You know. in my university they didn't really i mean check the gre scores they only check the english scores and i mean your past work experience and your different letters so at that time like my uh, i did uh, give i guess toefl so my toefl score was 98 and also at that time i had a work experience of uh, around 4 years and i did give a couple of references from my managers and a couple of references from my university professors So I guess I mean that helped me in getting the admission there, and and there was no cut off as was mentioned on on their website. I mean there was a cut off for I guess uh, TOEFL, but it was I guess eighty three or eighty something like that in eighties. The moment my course started, so one thing I I mean understood that the teachers there and the quality of education is much better than in India. So they mainly focus on the practical part, and if you have a work experience, you know prior to you know doing your course. So I did my course in Masters of Information Technology. So I did have you know prior experience in that field. So for me, it was not very challenging, if I am honest. But there were a couple of uh, subjects which you have to take, you know, compulsory. 
so i mean in, in those subjects if you don't have any interest in it then in, they can you know get pretty challenging for you so i mean i had couple of those subjects in which you know i thought that yeah i mean i have to you know invest my extra time in it but the, if, if i tell you the whole overall picture then it was not very really challenging for me but uh, there were a couple of friends of mine who were not you know I mean, their background was not from computer science or IT, but they they did you know feel that that the course was challenging and they have to help them in you know understanding the course and everything else. The stay back at my time it was two years, but because of COVID and travel restrictions, I guess and now they are, they have extended it for three years, and it also depends on what kind of course you are doing. So my master first. from coursework if you are, if you are doing masters from research or if you are doing from pgc then your stay back will be different for masters from research it is around 3 years and from like for doing pgc then it is a 4 years and if you i mean uh, finding the job is i mean it is challenging everywhere actually but if you are in a talent and and if you you know clear the interview and all so you will easily you know <clears throat> get a job there and apart from that if you are in a good company let's say um, if you have a, if you are in a medium level company then they do sponsor sponsor you i mean work with you as well and that is i mean pretty straight forward i mean there is there are no no hard challenges in there because like i have couple of friends i mean they are uh, stay back which are that is a post graduate which are expiring but they told me that you know the uh, and the employer filed their you know work visa they already have you know, filed their work visa the i mean the benefit of i mean doing master from it is like you have couple of different subjects in which you know you can then choose your role so uh, let's say if you are uh, doing a development in a particular field let's say in world application development then you can you know apply your jobs in that that field as well and you also have subjects for, uh, you know which are related to data science and which are related to you got web application development so you can apply in those fields as well and apart from that you can also apply in business fields as well because you have couple of subjects you know you, uh, through which you can define yourself that you know you are interested in that field and you can apply so there is a vast opportunity you know in which you can in, in which you can apply like see i mean uh, your semester will last for 12 weeks so the first six weeks are pretty you know Still, I mean, you don't have much work to do, but the, in the second half of those six weeks, I mean, you didn't get, you don't get any time to do anything, not even the weekends. So I'll tell you the first, first, you know, six weeks. So on weekends, I mean, since I mean, uh, I was living in Melbourne, the university was based in Melbourne, so we do have, you know, beautiful beaches. So we 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 can go and if you love driving, then you know, you can. There are many places, you know, the where you can, you know, uh, go for the single day trip and come back uh, and there. Uh, and also i mean since australia is uh, pretty clean in terms of air quality and all so if you if you love to do astro photography then you can go i mean to nearby places and you can see milky way and you know the stars you know, so I, i used to do that on on weekends yeah generally and, and and i used to go to the, i mean go to i mean different beaches and we have a uh, great ocean road there so i mean it is it's like i mean a road which uh, and, i mean it's right next to the ocean so it's pretty you know It's beautiful to ride, ride your car, drive your car there.